Hello. During this Holy Week, each day I'm going to put a short reflection telling part of the story as the week expands in front of us. For each day of the week I will be building up towards a full service on Good Friday and a full service on Easter Sunday. But these will be short reflections and Bible stories thinking about this time. This is Monday, and on this day our Lord returned from Bethany where he'd gone after his triumphal entry the first Palm Sunday. He returned to Jerusalem, and on the way he cursed a tree. He cleansed the temple. He declared that the Father's house should be a pr house of prayer for all nations. Let's hear part of what Mark's Gospel tells us of that day. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And he taught them. He said, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations? that you have made it a den of robbers. The chief priests and the teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared him, because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. Amen. And thanks be to God for his word. The cleansing of the temple is a complex story in many ways. We'll read that short passage and we think, yes, Jesus went in and sorted them out. He cleared the, the cheats and the robbers. But you know, these cheats and robbers were businessmen and businesswomen, no doubt. They had to make money for they had a deal with the temple authorities and part of their income kept the temple going. Sometimes life is not always black and white as we might think it, but it is to Jesus. There is right and there is wrong. The temple authorities had over the years built up a way of raising funds to keep their huge complex going. And part of that was taking a cut from the traders who sold the special goods for the special animals for a sacrifice and to change the ordinary money into temple money for offerings to the temple and to God. It would have started off as a simple way of raising a little bit of money. But then over the years, no doubt, there was bigger cuts and bigger cuts and more profit and more profit. And by the time Jesus enters the temple, he sees how much money the pilgrims who have travelled often miles for days to get there are being ripped off. And he's angry. And so he cleanses the temple. But that's only on one level. On the other level, he's more concerned that the temple is about grandeur, about wealth, about status, than it is about prayer. At this time of lockdown, churches around the country are wondering how they're going to pay their bills, continue without people coming to support them. And money is important. But at this time, more than anything else, so too is prayer. Prayer for deliverance from this disease. Prayer for love and support. Prayer for each other. I hope that whatever you're doing today, that you find some peace. And I'm going to close this little reflection in prayer. Shall we pray? Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, for whatever this day will bring. We thank you for your love shown to us and friends and family with phone calls and emails and texts and social messages. We thank you for the technology that can bind us together, even in lockdown. 
We pray today for those who are caught in the middle of strife and difficulty. We pray for our government here in Scotland for the difficulties it found itself in over the weekend. We pray for our Prime Minister who is in hospital and ask that you will be with them, with him and those who are caring for him. As we remember all who are in hospital, either through COVID-19 or the many other diseases that afflict human beings. We pray continually for our key workers and ask that you will bless them in their tasks. Father God, on this day, we remember Jesus cleaning the temple. Help us to have cleansed hearts. Help us to turn our attention to prayer. And let us pray for one another. Father God, look after our families and our friends, our neighbours and those who even we don't like. Look after them all, for we ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And as I always say, I hope that today you find some peace and may the face of God shine upon you and give you joy. And I hope to see you again tomorrow.